What's up guys, I'm going to do another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. This time I'm going to be going into Prestige 3. This one's taken me a little while. Um, I ran out of double XP about halfway through, so around, around like rank 15 or so. Uh, but yeah, so um, I haven't completed a whole lot of challenges this Prestige. Um, I can't really remember what I had done last time. But I now have both of these SMGs, both with red hex and completely max weapon levels. Getting there on the CUDA. Pharaoh barely started, and same with the Weevil, barely started these two, this Prestige. Um, use this a little bit. Uh, you might notice on a lot of these guns that I have uh, some weird sights, like I, some of them will have like Thermal, some of them will have the Varix 3, or um, very rarely I'll have the Recon. Uh, I barely have um, the Red Dot on any of them, because I have all the Red Dot challenges, like I just realized, I'm like, oh wait, you know, there's reticle challenges for zombies. So I barely got that one like 20 minutes ago. You know, barely finished that one. Um, so now I'm working on this. You know, kind of getting there. I've done barely anything for thermal. And then I have done absolutely nothing for recon. But yeah, so uh, just that kind of stuff. Use the HVK a little bit. I really like the Man of War, it's a really great gun. And yeah, I've been using this. I used this my the pre like just barely. I was using this in a game on the giant this and the uh, dingo, and they're both super good guns. I really like them. Um, the KRM finished that up. Argus used it a little bit. This one used it a little bit. Uh, but I really love the haymaker. This is probably my favorite gun in the game. Just a, such a fun and awesome gun. And I really love it. Um, BRM used it a little bit. Dingo, like I said, I used this this past game. I don't like the dredge at all because it's a six round burst. And yeah, and then I haven't used the Gorgon at all. I finished up the SVG, so now I have all the uh, snipers done, all red hex and max level. Um, used the XM for a little while. I think you have to get this to level 11, so I just need kills and stuff with it. Not too bad. Um, I got a couple hundred kills with this, but didn't really rank it up a whole lot. Uh, RK5 is done, and I also maxed out the Bowie Knife too. Um, I used the Blast Furnace Glitch, which I'll post a link on screen for you guys, so you can check that out if you want to, of how I did that. But yeah, so I finished that up. So now I just have these two left in the specials and stuff. And yeah, so for whatever reason... Um, so I barely got two Liquid Divinium uh, for my game on the Giant when I was using the Mana War and the Dingo. And uh, I used those two Gobble Gum and I ended up getting two of the uh, Carpenter, or whatever it's called, Licensed Contractor. Um, but the game before that, I, well, yeah. So I go into Dr. Money's factory, I have three Liquid Divinium, and I buy it. I go over here, boom, and I buy it. And it just keeps spinning. It was so weird and so stupid. I've had it happen like three times now where I've missed out on at least like nine or ten liquid divinium. And like it's just so stupid because the machine just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And then uh, they close. And then my uh, the little liquid divinium counter just goes down to zero. And it's not like it just like automatically gave me the gobble gum. It just... It doesn't give me any gobble gum, and the stupid things just keep spinning, and it just sucks up my liquid divinium. It doesn't give me anything. So I'm like, okay, well, thanks, you know. Um, I, I hate this thing. I have 13 of them, and then 8 of these. Like, the, I swear, these have to be like, you have like a 1 in 3 chance of getting these, and all these are like 0 .02. Like, oh, yeah. And I was playing last night, co-op with a friend on the Giant. And I had two liquid divinium, so I go ahead and buy the two vial one. And I get, you know, I probably got like, you know, respin cycle and aftertaste. And the third thing was a percaholic. So I was like, really? You know, if I just had one more liquid divinium, I could have gotten a percaholic. And I've never seen a percaholic in the spin before. That was the very first time it has shown up. And of course, I didn't get it at all. But. I've used up all of my, you know, random things. I just barely got these. Um, I'm saving the max ammo and the perk bottle for 
uh, when I play on Jerizen Draken, and also like the Unquenchable too. I wanted to get Perkaholics and stuff and save those up, so when I very first like play on the uh, Jerizen Draken for the very first time, I can easily just go, bam, you know, use my Gobble Gum, and then pow, I am set. I have every perk, and then you know that's the best way to explore the map, so you don't have to like worry about going down and getting perks and crap because you know you have all the perks and stuff. Um, but yeah, so burnt out, holy crap, I haven't gotten this forever, um, I have no clue how or why, uh, I got this recently, or I got two of them, uh, just the challenges, oh man, they just take forever, and then, yeah, oh yeah, and the wall power, I, jeez, I freaking, I still have 11 of these to go before I finish the challenge, and it's a rare mega, so I have to get 11 gobble gums to finish this one challenge. Um, there is like glitches and stuff, so if you're playing like hardwired into your modem, you can unplug your Ethernet after you use. So you pop in a gobble gum, you know, you use the gobble gum, you do your thing, and then you uh, you end the round, and then you unplug your uh, Ethernet. So it disconnects you from the server, but the server is like um, update and stuff every round, so it syncs your data, it syncs all your progress and your account info and everything every round, so it counts that challenge as you know progress towards the challenge but since you unplugged it it you know you get to keep your gobble gum so say if I you know did that with my two carpenters and it would count for the challenge as two carpenters but then you know I would still have another two so it's a pretty much a way you can like glitch the system and get infinite you know gobble gums and stuff you want to complete the challenges but I'm 80% of the way and they're pretty much all gobble gum now um, I have to play Shadows of Evil for this one it's the only way, and you can only get two, you know, buildables in one game, and oh, it just sucks, because you can only get two per game, and that's if you find all the shield parts, and you build, you know, the wonder weapon, and so it's like, well, I'm pretty sure this challenge goes up to like 20 or maybe even 30, so that's what, like either, you know, 10 or 10 or 15 games of playing Shadows of Evil, and building both of them, and it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but... You know, it just, uh, I prefer the giant so much more. Um, I have everything done for this, which is awesome. Had to spawn power-ups, which is, uh, taking me forever. I, this challenge just takes so long. Um, this one isn't bad. Oh my gosh, I freaking, see, this is probably one of the worst challenges, is because you have to get wall power so many times to do it, and it's only a one activation thing. It's not like, you know, with the Carpenter, where you can activate it like two or three times or whatever. Or the Burned Out, where you can activate it twice. And with the Burned Out, at least, you know, you can get a full train of like 24 zombies. And then use one Burned Out. Boom, get 24 kills towards your challenge. And then, you know, use your second Burned Out on another 24 zombies. Boom. You know, there's like 48 zombies towards your challenge, which is great. And that knocks off a huge, you know, portion of it. Whereas this, you know, you can only do it one at a time. Um, and with this one, I just... It, uh, I just have to play public matches. It's all it is. It's like I just need to play a public match, and since everybody who plays public matches pretty much sucks, um, you know they'll easily all just get downed. And you know when all four or all three of them, I guess, are all down at the same time, I'll just boop. You know, use my phoenix up, and then boom, they all get you know up. Um, I still have a couple of them. Uh, I have not done the shadows of evil Easter egg yet. But, yeah, so, I only have, what, six challenges left in zombies, so, it's pretty nice. Um, let me actually go back in there, show you, show you this. Uh, 1,541 rounds survived, average rounds 11, 35,000, or, yeah, 35,878 kills. Score per minute just keeps going down and down and down and down and down. The challenge, that stat is just whack, and it's just absolutely stupid. Um... I, man, I've just been, you know, getting Bowie Knife kills and stuff, trying to get that gun to the max level, and, yeah, so, um, I haven't really bought it off the wall and just got, like, straight-up kills with it recently, it's all been just using the Blast Furnace glitch, but, yeah, I wonder if they're, I don't know if they're gonna fix that or not, or what, because they, you know, you w did rank it up, you know, from the get-go when the game first came out, just by getting, you know, normal knife kills, but then they patched it, so it reset everybody's stats down to, like, zero. 
um, and no longer like normal kills won't count so I wonder if they're gonna do that again and reset everybody's you know thing down to zero again and then you know patch the blast furnace glitch I hope they don't because uh, it's just gonna freaking drive me crazy if there's just one weapon that has zero out of one on there and you cannot rank it up at all it's just gonna drive me crazy I like to see max on everything and then have you know the red hex on everything so uh, yeah I haven't really used a whole lot of the gobble gums in this prestige basically because you know I haven't gotten any of the you know mega gobble gums that I need for challenges so uh, the only ones I have on really are the uh, just the normal ones uh, like the classic gobble gums and you know since most of them aren't that great anyways I just you know say whatever screw it and I just don't even use them at all but yeah and then we have all the rest of these that I have never my friend has gotten like at least seven or eight of these uh, and I haven't gotten a single one uh, yeah and then just the rest of these Perfcoholic Phoenix up all the rest of these uh, 35 is my highest on the giant 26 on shows view I just barely got that the highest was 26 I barely got that today and yeah leaderboards um, you know just killing zombies and stuff doing my thing 69,000 in the world pretty good uh, you know how many bolts I've used 116,000 um, basically because I use like shotguns and snipers and stuff is basically what I've been using recently a whole lot so uh, whereas you know I would normally use like an LMG or something so I don't fire like a whole lot of bullets plus I get a lot of collaterals because I'm sitting up on the catwalk on the giant um, shots on target 212,000 so I have what like a 200% accuracy or something like that so I'm in you know the top 53,000 Headshots, 7,337. Explosive kills, eh. Revives. I pretty much only play solo, so it's just like quick revive, reviving me again and stuff. Um, 473. 435. I don't know where I got 73. 435 travel miles. 762 doors. And 523 perks drink. Um, the giant highest round solo is 35 I'm gonna do two player and see this see that's not accurate at all because I play you know private match and stuff with my uh, homie Harry or shelled puddle all the time we've gotten way 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 past 29 like we've gotten to like 32 and stuff so I don't know what is why it's doing that or what it's tripping about or stuff and then I haven't played three or four player um, shadows of evil I did play at four player. I don't recall doing that. I was just, you know, level seven, but okay. Uh, three player, two, and one. Twenty-six. All right. And then I did play some Dead Ops Arcade two a little while ago. Um, yeah. So ranking up a little bit in here. Haven't defeated the Silverback yet. And yeah. So. There you guys go. Um, that's pretty much that. Uh, I showed you guys. Well, I'll just show you all through this again. Yeah. Um, I'm just basically trying to. Like, it honestly isn't too bad. Like, you can easily finish zombies and, you know, like, maybe, you know, only a little while if you really try. But. Yeah, so it's not that, you know, bad to, you know, rank up all the guns and get them to the max level and get all the red hex camo and stuff. And even the challenges aren't that difficult in zombies, so I hope that they add in new ones and or, you know, new challenges and new gun. Well, I don't think they're going to add in new guns, but new challenges, new camos and stuff. Just basically new stuff that you can rank up and do stuff with and, you know, just have a good time with. Um... I think I might go with the man of war. Yeah, I think it, it oh, it's just a really great gun. I really love it. Um, like I have the Bowie knife and the RK5. I've already done. I have all the snipers. Um, I already permanent unlock that. And then I don't know, like the Weevil. I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, I think I'll go for the man of war. It's a great gun. 
Really love it. Yeah, so Prestige 3, level 1. Once again, those are my stats and everything. 2 days, 8 hours, 51 minutes, and 51 seconds to get to Prestige 3. Uh, not too bad. I'm putting a lot more time in zombies in this game so far than I have in uh, multiplayer, that's for sure. Um, and then also reset all my gobble gums and stuff. But yeah, there you guys go. Uh, tell me what ranks and everything you guys are on in zombies in the comments down below. And just how you're feeling about zombies. I'm super pumped for the new DLC. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Black Ops 3 Zombies video.